so what is first we are going to discuss about what is memory module okay memory chips are normally only available as part of a card called module we know that if you take a very big design there will be a memories right memory memory chips that will be a single module right so we have probably seen memory listed as 8 by 32 or 4 by 16 like that right so here 8 indicates what 8 indicates the depth okay and uh, 32 indicates the width of uh, each word here 32 means word okay and 16 means of word okay these numbers represent the number of chips multiplied by the capacity of each individual chip getting which is measured in megabytes so here they have mentioned 8 by 32 4 by 16 all in terms of megabytes okay or in million bits for example 4 by 32 means that module has 32 mega 32 megabit chips getting so all in terms of megabits so what is memory module yeah memory chips available in a very big design is known as memory module okay there are three types of memory module first one is sim second dim third one is rim sim means what first we'll going to discuss about that one single inline memory module okay single inline memory module the stack of ram goes into socket on the system board so we know that uh, if you look at the motherboard and all we have some uh, sockets for uh, housing these uh, kind of memory modules right so this will go and sit there and sim pins on sim uh, pins on opposite sides of the board are tied together to form one electrical contact so in turn uh, the opposite sides of uh, that board so anyway we are going to plug in our memory into that uh, socket the opposite side of that one will be tied to tied to make an electrical contact sims can supply up to 32 bits of data and this kind of single in line memory module supply up, uh, maximum 32 bits of data okay next most of the models used are used are all known as the 72 pin sims so nowadays we are having only uh, the most of the memory mo uh, single in line sims are 72 pin package which refers to 32 bit uh, data transfer out of the 72 pins 32 bits are used for data transfer and considerably 72 pin packets this they fit into so for we know that uh, sim is coming up uh, with the 72 pin package okay so the socket which is having the 70 pin will be a suitable for suitable one for this there are also 30 pin sims which have an 8 bit data transfer and uh, fit into 30 pin packets sorry sockets okay that's clear right so both types of sim are long out of date so uh, this is a old, uh, old one okay so uh, we are having two types of package in this sim 72 pin package and 30 pin package okay so this is a uh, normally uh, uh, nowadays we are using new technologies this is a old one we can say in that way okay so out of this 72 32 pins are used for data transfer getting so this is all about sim single end line memory module the second type of uh, memory module is dim means dual end line so if you look at this uh, diagram you will get a clear picture of that memory module here so many chips are there right memory modules and uh, look at here the electrical contact is one side in dim opposite pins remains isolated to form two separate contacts so getting opposite pins are isolated to form two separate contacts dual in line memory modules uh, come in 168 pin modules and provide 64 bits of data transfer so if you look at that sim there we had only 32 bits of data transfer but dim 
we are having 64 bits of data transfer and one more thing 168 pin package there 32 pin package sorry 30 pin package and 72 pin package right and one more thing here is uh, the 168 pin dim module is much longer than 72 pin uh, sim producing twice the speed of transfer getting so it will normally produce uh, twice of the speed produced by sims